All right, so let's look at the rhomboids. These are a, a big factor when it comes to rounded shoulders. These get overstretched and super tight. You see my marker here. It's the tissues between the spine and the shoulder blade. It's not on the spine and it's not on the shoulder blade. It's between the shoulder blade. Here's the bottom position with the ball. There's the middle position. You know, I'll come around and show you the top position where that ball, or where, and you'll be basically traveling between these different points. It can go high trap, it can go low shoulder blade. Here's me just putting the ball into position, again, between my shoulder blade and my spine. And I'm just exploring the area. There's not one specific movement that's best. All I want you to do is explore the area. Find out what position hurts, what causes pain or discomfort, and I want you to breathe through it and bring that arm through ranges of motion. Now, take note of where my arm is at right now. This is how you open the shoulder blade up to expose the tissue between your spine and your shoulder blade, okay? So before you actually put weight on that ball, whether it's a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, bring your arm across the body and expose those tissues before that ball goes in place. Here, I'm gonna adjust a little bit. Um, so start at the top and work your way to the bottom of that, of that shoulder blade. Um, what you're gonna also remember to do is make sure you're breathing while you're doing this. Oftentimes you go so fast and so hard that you almost tense up and your body can't relax. So here's what you need to do. Once you've tissue worked, once you've released the muscles is you're gonna activate the muscles. Okay, this is a very, very key, key thing. Right now your rhomboids are super overstretched. They're almost dormant. So you have to release them and then activate them, learn how to move them. And this, the band, pulling the band doesn't necessarily activate them. It's the act of pulling the shoulder blades back and around and then using the band to actually um, work as an exercise. So keeping here, you'll see me here, I extract my shoulders and then I pinch my shoulders together and now I'm doing the exercise, okay? So uh, you're gonna see me do the front view of it here uh, band straight out in front of me, shoulder blades back, and like I'm trying to pinch a pencil between my shoulder blades, and I'm just squeezing that pencil between with my shoulder blades uh, coming together straight out in front of me. I'm gonna reach up above, another variation, shoulder blades back and down, and make sure you feel the activation. Another great, just basic version of just activating or getting that scapula scapular control is um, I use a light band. I'll wrap around a pole like you see here. I try to keep my arm as straight as I can. Um, and, and what I'm doing is I'm just trying to focus and put my brain where my shoulder blade is. Um, what I mean by that is just you're learning to just without using your bicep, you're learning to draw back your shoulder blade and allowing it to slide and glide around that rib cage. Um, you'll see a obviously a back version of this. Here, again, I got a band attached to a door, a wall, um, anything that you kind of have around your house, um, allowing my shoulders to drop. I'm not hiking them up or shrugging them up. I'm going down and back. And if you see, um, you can kind of see it through my shirt, is you'll see my shoulder blade protract or slide all the way forward. And then I'm drawing it back and I'm trying to pinch that side. I would rather work one side at a time so I can learn how to control them both. And then I'll bring them together and kind of do it both ways. So this is another version um, of learning this, this scapular control or gliding is I'm pulling them down. So the same idea, I'm just, this is actually a little bit harder for me, um, which is what I'm working on now. My arm is outstretched above my head and I'm pulling it down and I'm trying to bring my shoulder blade down and back or down and around, I guess you can say. Um, so obviously I'm not doing the protraction, retraction, I'm just coming down. Um, so this is tough, it's something you have to kind of work on, it's something that you should be able to do. Again, this is all building shoulder stability. Um, you'll jump forward here to just what I like to do to warm everything up. I get my, my brace under control, nice, nice and tight, um, and I'll bring my, the band up a little bit past the being straight out vertical for, or horizontal from the ground. Um, I like to have, I'm almost pulling down and back with my shoulder blades. This is just a, a more intense version of that, um, reaching up. 
You're gonna see a posterior version of this just to kind of get an idea of what I'm doing with my shoulder blades. Um, now again, you kind of saw this earlier in the video, but want to kind of touch on it again from a standing point. Um, and I'm just, again, working and I'm putting my brain where my shoulder blades are, and I'm just trying to make all the movement come from my shoulder blades. Um, this is a big thing that I like to uh, finish my workouts with is this banded pull. So you can do an actual cable pull. I like to do a band with this. You can do a light band, heavier band, or if you have cables at your gym, it's the same thing. Uh, I'll do about 10 to 15 uh, reps of this, two to three sets, just to kind of tie up that post here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, you are watching Fitness for Back Pain uh, YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe to get more videos, click the link here. Or if you want to go to the website, fitnessforbackpain.com, tons of free content every single week that is not always video-based. Some things just need to be talked about in the text form. So if you want to check it out, go to fitnessforbackpain.com. Subscribe, like, share the videos, guys. Thanks so much for the support, and I'll see you later.